Joel Klatt's joining me. All right, so what's up, man? Hey, so here's the college football playoff rankings last night. I didn't have a problem with it because Oklahoma is ahead of Ohio State. When Georgia loses to Bama, then I'm going to get Oklahoma. I think I think Oklahoma wouldn't lose by 29 to Purdue. So are you okay with those rankings? (laughs) Yeah, I didn't have a huge problem with it. I think the resume, the body of work for Oklahoma is certainly. I think more impressive than Ohio State. Thank you. I will say this, though. Ohio State's singular performance against Michigan is better than any singular performance that Oklahoma has had. Oh. As a whole. As a whole. You think winning at West Virginia against an NFL quarterback is easier than beating Michigan in a 1988 offense at home? Uh, I will say that the flaws that I've seen from both, at least Ohio State has proven that they can fix some of their flaws. I mean, listen, in the last month, Oklahoma has had historically bad defense. They're right now 125th in the country in total defense in the last month. 125th. Do you know they've given up 189 points in November? 189. If you want to know some sort of context for that, in the calendar year, if you take Alabama's playoffs last year and their entire season, they've given up 194. That's five more points than Bama has in November. That's insane. Yeah, Oklahoma has a tackling problem. That I will acknowledge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, so wouldn't you – hold on before you – wouldn't you say either team is flawed? Like there's not a great answer at right. four. Right, so I, I, listen, my whole thing is – I was telling the staff this this morning. I was telling the staff this this morning. People think everybody wins. Average people get good jobs and have good days, right? Sure. And marry beautiful women, right? You got to avoid catastrophe in life. Okay. So if I interview, I'm I'm a principal. I'm interviewing for a a wonderful high school. I'm going to interview to be a principal. I could be great for two hours. But if the last thing I said was, I do like to date teachers, especially the married ones. Check, please. I'm out of the job. Right. You're done. When you interview for a job, it's not about (laughs) saying smart stuff. It's about avoiding the catastrophe. Yeah, you do have to. You know, avoid I've embezzled at every country uh, company I've worked for. That's how you lose a job. That's not going to be a problem here, though, no, right? No, no, no. Oklahoma, Ohio State. There's a bunch of good stuff I like. Ohio State had a catastrophe. They lost by 29 to per don't. Yeah, I, that's listen, not good enough. I'm not disagreeing with you, but you cannot overlook the fact that Oklahoma also has a catastrophe. Well, what is it? I just explained well, what it to is you. It? Do it. Do What's we have to catastrophe? Play 189 that's points given up. The, that's winning, not a catastrophe. They're winning those games. Oh my good! That's not a catastrophe. Really? No, a catastrophe is losing to Army. You just said, Colin, that you like you can say a bunch of great things in an interview, but one thing I, I just said they say a lot of great things offensively, and they've given up 189 but, points but in, in college, a month. But a college football, a catastrophe's a losing. They win all those games. They're winning those games. You can't lose by 29 to an average football team. You're off. That's a job interview. You said the wrong thing the last sentence. You're out. Check, please. Month. Okay. Now, here's another thing. I I am not into trends. You're very much a trends guy. Oh, really? I didn't realize yeah, that. Yeah, I, I not, appreciate you explaining By the way, in my me. house, we still raise the roof. It's an all-time classic. <laughs> you probably got a new <laughs> hand thing you guys do in your family because it's cool. I'm not into cool. So I'm not into this. Eight, That's clear. I'm not into this eight-team playoff. That's the hot thing. And And my takeaway is, oh, really, I need to see Michigan again? I really need to see UCF now with a backup. Are you, are you trying to say that I am an 18 you, playoff guy? Let's be honest about this. I bet you'd love like 16 teams. Never. 34. Never. And let me tell you why. There's a very clear argument why I hate the fact that we're probably headed to eight uh, teams. You think we are? The 3-2 argument is compelling. You can make a case that the third team in the country deserves at least a shot at the national title. I agree. That argument gets diminished when you're arguing between four and five. Four and five, you do what we're doing right here, arguing between fl- fatally flawed resumes. I think they were flawed last year when you had a non-champ Alabama against yeah. a two-loss Ohio State. Flawed resumes, right? Yeah. Can you make a case maybe one of them deserves a chance at the national title? Maybe. You really want to start arguing between three-loss Florida, three-loss LSU, two-loss Michigan, UCF out of a, a I, non-Power 5? I don't want to have that argument. I don't want to have that argument. That's not compelling. No one cares about that argument. And quite frankly, those teams don't deserve a chance at the national right. championship. So you're still raising the roof at your house. I, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> Writing books over here, raising I, the roof. I told my daughter the other day, talk to the hand. <laughs> I know it's like 1994, <laughs> so but that's in my house. We're, we got 1994 oh, all over the house. All right. What do you, what do we, you and I like Harbaugh. 
We do, but that was bad. Not great. I'm that not, was bad. Gonna be honest with you. I like, and I still think. By the way, oh, I you guys are gonna do the bit. Oh yeah. Oh, only now, you know when you, when you, I mean, I think you not, should do the bit today. You not when you give that. up sixty-two. Oh. Bits done. Thanks a lot. What do we make up? What do we? Because you and I still like Harbaugh. Wow, wow. I still like Harbaugh, but here's here's the problem. Here's the. It, you love analogies. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Jim Harbaugh is becoming dangerously close to falling into the Mike Leach realm. The Wazoo coach. Yeah. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, is that a shot? Well, it's not necessarily a shot. Let me give you some context for this. There are two coaches that have wild success at a lot of places. I would say Mike Leach is having wild yes, success again. at Washington State. Here's the problem. When you take away their one thing that they hang their hat on, they've got nowhere else to go. They have no second gear. That's one of the reasons why it's so it's been so hard for Mike Leach to win a division championship. He's never done it at the college level. He's never won a conference championship. Guess what Harbaugh's never done? Never won a conference championship. And what I saw last week was a team that came in favored, probably should have won and had nowhere to go once they couldn't run the ball effectively on base downs. See, because when they're ahead and they're running it effectively on base downs, now they can get the tight ends involved. And now it's play action pass. And it's what he wants to do. If you take his blueprint from him, he has an inability to win those games versus I'll just say Ohio state has won games all different ways. They have Oklahoma has had to win games all different ways, running the ball, some games, passing the ball, other games. Sometimes their defense shows up. Maybe not no use case in 189 in the last month. I don't know if you heard, but Ohio state has won them all, all sorts of different ways. You can't necessarily make that argument for Michigan. They don't necessarily but you're not saying win about- a game that, that they can't use their blueprint. Okay, that, it's very fair. Big Ben threw a bad pick. I still love him. I can still love sure. Harbaugh and think he's a great coach, but I don't think he's I don't think he's the greatest coach, but I still think he's a fantastic coach. He just needs to adjust a little bit. You know, if, if if they're able to throw the ball on base downs a little bit, be able to to get off of blueprint and still be successful, he's absolutely he's he's the perfect guy for Michigan. They're having so much more. They're so much better off right now than they were in the seven Thank years you. under yeah. Lloyd Carr and and Brady Hoke. Do you know that their overall record in the seven years between uh, uh, Lloyd Carr and and Brady Jim Harbaugh? Oh. So I'm talking about the Rich Rodriguez Brady Hoke era. Yeah, their record was the exact same as Oregon State over those last over those seven years. Wow. So you tell me, everyone's like, oh, he's overrated. Really? Because I think they would take this. They're in the top ten and should be. Yeah. And they lost a game to a really good and Ohio by the way, State if they team keep that winning, their, played it, their best it, it 60 It should minutes. be noted, if they win their bowl game, they're going to finish about fifth. Are you, Is yeah. Michigan not happy with fifth? It's an academic power. It's in cold weather. The state doesn't have any high school football stars. And they were 60 minutes away from, from being there. You know what I mean? I mean, wouldn't you take, Michigan fan, I'm talking to you, wouldn't you take every year being 60 minutes away from being a playoff team? Thank you. Yes. Yes, you would. So stop it with the, oh, I don't know. Maybe we need to make a change. You know By what? the way, you need to make a change. What, what's your final four? Who are the four best you've seen? Who are the four best? Uh, no, no, no. Who are the four best teams in America to you? Bama, Clemson, Georgia, Oklahoma. Okay, that's fair. So that's how I feel, but I'm going to put mean, a- by a nose over Ohio State. Like I said, what the about Notre Dame? game last week. I think all those teams beat Notre Dame okay, this week. I, you know what? I totally appreciate your honesty on that. But I, but they're going to. However, know, I, I want Notre Dame in. They've earned the right to go and exa- play for this national championship. They've earned it. I'll give you that. Hundred percent. I don't I want to take with, that away from them. But what I've seen, you saw the USC game. Yeah, I mean, Georgia's getting better. There are teams that are better than Notre Dame, but they've earned the right to go. I had an NFL exec text me during the Notre Dame game, and say. Clemson would blast this team by four touchdowns. He goes, Maybe. they cannot run. He goes, I've scouted Clemson. They can't run with Clemson. By the way, I want to do something here. Uh, uh, Joy, what does this stand for? Big J journalism. Journalism. That's all this show is about, no opinions. All we do on this show is journalism. I'm going to throw a little uh, one at you. Cliff Kingsbury is good looking. You ever seen that guy? He's really he's good, good looking. looking. I'm gonna There's roll only the- a few guys that I blush in front of. He's one of them. Yeah. USC Not offensive afraid. coordinator, next 72 hours. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.